everyone, this is J Rod the Drummer. Welcome to vlog number two. Uh, it's already 6.44 in the morning. It's August 22nd, 2018. Right now, I'm going to work. If you guys are wondering where I work, I work security, part-time security at this company. Um, I normally work at the convention center. If there's other opportunities, I'll try those, but Work has been less lately because uh, this new system has been fucking up everything. Basically, I signed up for, I mean, let's say I, I signed up for six events. I only get half or maybe less. So fucked up. So right now, I'm waiting for my dad so we can drive up to the convention center where I work. I start at 7.30 in the morning and then I'd be off by 12. Uh... In case you're wondering what we do today, we're gonna do today. There's a chat. We're gonna do laundry with Fam Bam, but the, my mom has an appointment at, with her nails soon at four o'clock. We may not be able to go to the gym today because by the time they leave, there'll be traffic on the way back. It could take up so much time, and the gym they close at ten. We don't want to go that late because my mom has to be home before that and rest up for to the following day since she works. Me, I gotta be in school. So right now, let's fast forward a little for the day. Okay, so I've been home for a while. Got off at 12 from work, but I could not get any footage. The vet that I was working at is uh, Harley Davidson. If you guys are big motorcycle fans yet, but I saw something cool. I was unable to succeed. Now, you don't have to believe me because I don't bullshit when I tell this truth. I just saw Robert Patrick, a.k.a. the T-1000 from Terminator 2. He was there. I was like, whoa, it's him. It's Robert Patrick. I told everyone. And then I, w I wanted to take a photo with him, but no such luck. But at least now I know he's into motorcycles because I found out he's part of a motorcycle club or something. But... After I got picked up from work, I went to. <coughs> oh, shit. Excuse me. I went to Costco with my dad. He wanted to find these fans, but uh, he invited me to go eat something over there. I got some pizza, which I needed food. So, yeah, right now I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the day. Uh, right now. Um, my mom is going to get her nails done, and then we'll probably go to the laundry. So we're not 100% sure if we're going to the gym. So we'll see how this one plays out. Okay, see ya. So um, just got an interesting message from the wrestler, independent wrestler Sammy Guevara. If you guys don't know who he is, he's a wrestler, from independent wrestler down from from Houston, Texas. Uh, Katie, to be exact. Uh, I became an instant fan of him when he appeared on uh, Lucha Underground, the start of season four. Uh, I started watching his YouTube channel, the the vlogs. It's pretty awesome to watch. Anyway, I look into his website and he has a lot, pretty interesting shirts, like a combination of pandas and Dragon Ball Z. Now there was a shirt I really like. This one is called the Ultra Instinct. It's where you have Goku as a panda. You know, it's it's really interesting shirt. Um, I'll show you those clip. The uh, I'll I'll send you a photo of that uh, as soon as I'm done talking to you guys. So anyway, I messaged Sammy, and I asked him if has any if he has any of those um, shirts in my size because I wear a 3x and he had to look into his inventory. He didn't have those, so I messaged him maybe about a week or week and a half ago. And I didn't think he would get back to me that soon. He did find a 3X shirt, but not the one I was hoping for. But Sambia understood that I liked those shirts. But I told him that I can wait for another opportunity. When it rises, I can hopefully order that one. And Sammy appreciated that I'm very patient, that I really am that type of person. But... I can't wait to get one more of those type of shirts. Hopefully I get one for my friend Chow because I know she likes pandas. So if she does like those type of shirts, I'll get her one for Christmas. Well, if I, could, I haven't seen her for a while, but 
So let me show you those shirts and, of course, the message that I've been talking with Sammy. Okay, you guys out there know what's the one thing we don't want to deal after a relationship is your ex-girlfriend showing up. Well, apparently I'm watching 5-0. This upcoming season, they just announced a cast, new cast member. Apparently she's going to play McGarrett's ex. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Danny says. You know why? He always has those sarcasm quotes all the time about him you know like he was criticizing steve when catherine was working for billy one of steven's friends turns out to be catherine's ex as well it's kind of weird but i can't wait to see this no have you ever seen ncis where gibbs didn't want to deal with his ex-wives he didn't want to deal diane or rebecca or what, what i forgot her name well stephanie so basically he didn't want to deal with all of them I bet Steve is the same way. But Steve did have an, another ex-girlfriend, Catherine. She left him, but without telling him that she was part of the CIA. It was awkward. She finds out that that he was going to propose to her. She left. She is hurt knowing that she hurt him. You know, they never explain if he's still with Lynn or they broke up in the last season, you know? Anyways, whatever happened. It happened. I don't know if Danny also broke up with with Melissa. Who cares? But <laughs> the ex. They are the worst to deal with. You know why? Because you don't want to know what happened. You know, in my personal life, the only ex I've ever stayed in contact was my last one. She calls me for stupid shit. Like her period and all this. And I'm like, don't look like a doctor. Don't talk to me about this. And she's talking about how it hurts when she's have sex. I don't want to know. Deal with it yourself. Go to a doctor for Christ's sakes. I'm not a doctor. I may have experience in that, in that neck of the woods. But it doesn't make me the expert on the vagina. You know why? Because I don't got a de medical degree on that. If you want someone to do that, guys, please, if you have those crazy girlfriends that tell you, oh, my vagina hurts because I fucked my new boyfriend, tell them to go to a doctor. You're not their problem. You guys out there, it doesn't matter if you're single or you're not. If you're in a relationship right now and your ex calls you, oh, my vagina hurts because a guy hurts me so roughly, it's not your problem. It's the ex's problem. She needs to go to a doctor. So tell her, go to hell, go to a doctor, take care of that. So, that's the way I speak about it. So, I'll see you guys in a bit for that. Okay. So, it's about, what, 8.40 in the evening. I'm here in the laundromat, if you can see right behind me. Uh, what happened is, my mom had her nails done around 4 o'clock. took forever for her to get down here. Lucky for me, I was doing other things before she got home. Uh... If you guys wondering what I was doing the entire time when all of this was happening, well, I can tell you what I was doing. I was basically trying to catch up with Sammy Guevara's vlogs. You know, since this is the second vlog I'm doing for you guys, but <laughs> there'll be more to come. Uh, we're not going to the gym. It's very late due to the fact that, um, how do I say this? They close around 9, but the issue is my mother. You see, my mother works with an elder gentleman. She works as a caregiver. Now, the idea for her when she finishes her days is she stays home, showers up, she relaxes the rest for a couple hours before she falls asleep, and then wakes up around 5.45 in the morning, get everything done, her lunches, breakfast, whatever to do. And then she goes up to near what it's uh down in a uh, mission valley or spring valley whatever somewhere near um qualcomm which is now the San Hill credit card union stadium so she's there she gets off, starts at 7 30 gets off around uh 3 30 and then she takes about maybe 
30 to 40 minutes to get home, depending if there's no tra traffic, if there's no traffic, or she has to be somewhere else. So th that's how it works for her. But today she had her nails appointment around four o'clock and my dad was with her. Me, I was home enjoying the day after my dad picked my monkey ass up from work. And pretty much that's how my day is. Didn't do so much. I'm sorry I didn't put a whole lot like I hope I would, but I didn't. In case you're wondering what I ate for dinner. <laughs> I had Jack in the Box right over there. So, yeah, I had Jack in the Box for dinner. I hardly eat at home. My mom has no time for cooking, neither does my dad. So, basically, I'm thinking about ending it for today. We'll restart tomorrow, and we'll go from there. So, I'll see you guys later.